guys welcome to my channel in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you the best nude lipstick combos for light to medium skin tones I'm going to be sharing with you what I think are some of the absolute best nude lipsticks on the market right now and also some of my favorite lip liners I truly hope you guys are excited for this video if you find this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you leave those always help me out and with that said let's go ahead and get started all right, so in today's video, we're going to be diving into nude lipstick combos to be more specific, what I think are some of the best nude lipsticks, glosses, and lip liners out there. I feel like a lipstick video is not unheard of from me. However, it is very rare. I don't do them that often. I'm definitely someone who is into eye looks and eyeshadows a lot more than lipsticks. I prefer to accentuate my eyes and do some bold eye looks rather than bold lipsticks. So that's what you usually see me on. And I'm very particular when it comes to nude lipsticks because I don't like to look washed out and I also don't like them to be too dark where it competes with my eye looks. So I've gathered here an array of lipsticks that I'm going to show you in the form of lip combos and I truly hope that you guys like them because I'm personally obsessed with them, okay? I was talking to my friend Nicole about this video and how to go about it. She watches a lot of YouTube videos just like me and she's always super helpful and gives me ideas. And we decided that it was probably best to kind of organize it by like undertones as far as the nude lipstick goes. And I'm also kind of going from the lightest to the darkest, even though we're not going to go too dark, but that just was kind of what made sense in my head. Besides that, I was super extra and I named my lipstick combos. <laughs> Since I usually show you guys different eye looks and I kind of call them look one, two, three, four, five, whatever. And I love to get your feedback. I love when you guys tell me which one is your favorite one. I named the lip combos so that if you want to, you can share with me what your favorite lip combo was by name. I also might have had a little too much fun naming lip combos over here. So anyways, let's get started. <laughs> This is as close as we're getting today because I still want you guys to see my whole face and I'm going to go ahead and wipe this lipstick combo off. Once I get to it, I'll tell you exactly what this was. I'm going to be linking everything down below and I'm going to be linking them by looks and that way you guys can find exactly what you're looking for. Everything on my face today will also be linked in the description. I'm back with nothing on my lips and we're going to get started with the first lip combo. I call this one the nudist because this is kind of like the nudist lipstick I ever wear. The lightest I go with my nude lipstick. This is it right here. The lip liner we're going to use for it is going to be the Subculture Lip Liner by MAC. And I always start applying lip liners on the outer corner of my mouth and go up from there. When I'm doing my lip liner, I tend to do like a very thick line that kind of takes up half of the thickness of my lip per se. So just like this, as you can see, this is slightly lighter than the color of my lips. I could fill it in all the way or just leave it at this. I'm just going to leave it at this because I don't care that much. And we're going to put a lipstick through the center right now. And that lipstick is from Origins. It is so, so hydrating. It's actually like a lip balm type of lipstick. It is in the color Honey Blush 03. And I believe this one is only sold at Macy's. This is such a pretty nude lipstick and I love the sheerness of it because it looks so natural on the lips. Let me just go ahead and apply it. So here are the lipstick and the lip liner combined. As I said, this is kind of like the lightest type of nude that I consider flattering on me and one of my favorite lip combos. Especially I feel like with a super dark smoky eye, the darker you do your eyes, the better this nude lipstick is going to look. I'm back for the second look and this one I named Bare. As you can see, I left some of the subculture lip liner on and that's because I'm going to reapply the same one. So let me go ahead and do that. The MAC lip liners honestly have one of my favorite formulas. I really love them. Mm -hmm. 
So Subculture is back on and the reason I named this one Bare and it's going to be a little bit darker than the first look is because I'm not going to put a super light lipstick in the middle. Instead, I'm going to combine it with the Kosas lip oil right here and since this is clear, my lip color is going to show through which means it's going to be extremely natural looking on me. So this is the Kosas lip oil right here and I... I'm obsessed with this. I'm obsessed with lip oils in general or like glosses that are not sticky. I love and this is super hydrating and to be honest my favorite way to wear this one is with a lip liner and no lipstick underneath. Here it is as you can see it's really shiny and pouty it has a bit more color than my first look but it's extremely natural still very hydrating and I really love this formula and so this right here is the lip combo for the look bare this is definitely something that you can wear on a daily basis and it's going to look absolutely beautiful with anything that you pair it with all right so the third lip combo is called magic and that is because the lipstick we're going to be using is the JK magic lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury and I'm going to be combining it with the Iconic Nude Lip Liner, also by Charlotte Tilbury. The Iconic Nude Lip Liner is my most favorite lip liner ever. I absolutely love this one and 1000% recommend it. And one of my favorite lip combos is combining it with the JK Magic lipstick. Whenever I wear this combo on a video, a lot of you compliment it. So this right here is magic. As you can see, the Iconic Nude Lip Liner is a little darker than Subculture. And now we're going to be applying JK Magic, which is a beautiful nude with like a peachy undertone. I love it. And I sometimes like to just tap the edge so that they blend into each other. So this is magic. I love the Iconic Nude Lip Liners formula. And also Charlotte Tilbury has one of the best, most comfortable formulas on the market right now. I am absolutely obsessed with most of her lipsticks and this is one of the best nudes ever. Back once again with nothing on my lips and the next look I'm going to show you is called Basic Perfection. It is the only drugstore lipstick that I have in this video and I think it is just as good as the rest of the lipsticks that I am showing you. I am obsessed with this one. It's so nice and affordable. It has a good staying power. It wears very comfortably and it has a beautiful, beautiful nude shade. So that is this one right here. It is this type of liquid lipstick from L'Oreal right here. The color is 416 Create maybe. Um, and let me put it on so you guys can see it. This liquid lipstick has this leaf type of applicator right here and you literally do not need a lip liner for it because you can line your lips with it so easily. I like to start in the center and then spread out to the corner so you'll see. Just look at how perfect that color is. I love it. It is also like super, super thin. You barely feel it on the lips. It has one of the best lipstick formulas ever. I need to go back and check out some other of their shades in this formula because I am truly obsessed with this one. I feel like the day I bought this one, the rest of the shades might have been a little like funky for me, uh, but I just need to go back and revisit because this formula right here is everything. So this right here is Basic Perfection with a L'Oreal Nude Liquid Lipstick and you can see why I gave it the name. It is a one product lip wonder and it is absolutely perfect. I also have to say you can combine this with absolutely everything because it's not warm or cool toned. It's kind of like neutral right in the middle. Chef's kiss, I am obsessed with this L'Oreal lipstick. 
So the next lip combo I named Flirt and that is because it is a nude lipstick with a pinky undertone and I am in love with it. I'm going to bring back the iconic nude lip liner by Charlotte. Like I said before, this is my absolute favorite lip liner so it's going to be in a few lip combos. Let me put it back on. And the lipstick in this combo is this one here, also from Charlotte. This is the Dance Floor Princess Lipstick. It's also in Charlotte's fun packaging. And I've worn this lip combo in quite a few of my videos. And you guys also always love it and ask me what I'm wearing. So here it is. This is very similar to the look with the JK Magic lipstick. Except that one is a nude with a peachy undertone. And this is a nude with a pinky undertone. Oh, and I think it pairs so well with Iconic Nude. Alright, so this is Flirt Iconic Nude Lip Liner and the Dance Floor Princess Lipstick by Charlotte Tilbury. I think this is one of my most favorite lip combos ever. It has to definitely be in my top three. I think I like this one a little more than the Iconic Nude with the JK Magic. Again, the Charlotte formula and the lipstick and the lip liner are superb. So beautiful and they feel so comfortable and hydrating on the lips. Alright, so I'm back for the sixth look and I call this one Enamored and it is a pinky nude lip as well as the one we just saw. This is another one lip wonder and this time it is by YSL. Now I will say YSL is under the umbrella of L'Oreal and I do find these formulas extremely similar so that might be why this L'Oreal lipstick is bomb. <laughs> So we're going to try this one on. This is YSL's Tatouage Lipstick in number 25. I also love number 27. I used to always wear that one and I thought I owned it, but I think I was lying to myself. Anyways, if you like pinky nudes more than regular nudes, you'll like this one because this goes a little bit more to the pinky side. It also has a beautiful wand that you can line your lips with, so you don't need a lip liner with it. So this is the look Enamored. This is again the YSL number 25 tatouage lipstick. This is as far away from a true nude as we are going to get in this video and also as pink and colorful as we're going to get because the rest of the looks go back to being very nude. <laughs> Nevertheless, I absolutely love this lipstick and I forgot to mention that the tatouage lipsticks actually stain your lips so these last a whole day on. So look number seven I called Summer Bliss and it is a lipstick and lip gloss slash oil combo. They literally named it a gloss oil so it's not me, okay? But the lip liner we're going to use is another one from MAC. This is MAC's World Lip Liner. In the rank of my favorite lip liners, this is number two after the Iconic Nude Lip Liner right here. So let me go ahead and put this one on. This one has a little bit of a mauve undertone and I think it's a little bit darker than Iconic Nude. And we're going to pair it with the Vacay hey Shine Gloss from Kaja in the color Beachy Nude. This is a beautiful bronzy gloss oil. I think these two go so well together and this is like a summer nude. It's a little bit darker, a little bit more bronzy, a little bit more tan per se. And I really love the way these two look combined. I think I screwed up my lightest to darkest organization because the next one is a little bit lighter than this one, but that's okay. <laughs> so this Kaja gloss is actually a gloss oil so it has absolutely no stickiness to it. It's actually really really nice and hydrating. And this right here is lip combo number seven which I called Summer Bliss. I really love how bronzy and glowy this looks. I think it can be combined with so many different eye looks. You can also wear a very light eye with this and it'll look absolutely stunning. I feel like this lipstick combo just makes me want to be at the beach on vacation. I really love the bronziness of it. 
So lip combo number eight is called Pretty Pout. And this is the look that I was wearing at the intro of the video. It is with the Iconic Nude lip liner one more time because I'm obsessed, okay? <laughs> So Iconic Nude lip liner on and we're going to combine it with the Collagen Lip Gloss by Charlotte Tilbury. Now you usually see me talking about lip oils instead of lip glosses because I just don't like my lips to be sticky. However, I don't find that the Collagen Lip Gloss by Charlotte Tilbury is sticky and it gives me the prettiest, poutiest, most like juicy lip. It also has collagen in it and it is supposed to make your lips a little bigger while you're wearing them and also long term. So let's go ahead and put this one on. And I take it all the way to the edge of the lip liner because I find that that's how it makes my lips look the poutiest. Alright guys, so this right here is Pretty Pout. I'm obsessed with this lip combo. I love the iconic nude lip liner and I love the clear gloss that kind of lets my lip color show through. I also think because this is an actual lip gloss rather than a lip oil, it lasts a little bit longer. And I really love the minty sensation that the collagen leaves on your lips. It truly feels like your lips get a little bit bigger when you put it on. All right, I'm back and we've gotten to the ninth and last look, finally before my lips go raw. This look is, I think, just as dark as the beachy look. I think they're around the same amount of depth, but instead of it being shiny and glossy, it is more of a matte lip combo. I call this one very posh because the lipstick I'm going to use is from Charlotte Tilbury as well, and this is the Very Victoria Lipstick. This lipstick was designed after Victoria Beckham. She is the posh spice, so because the lipstick is called Very Victoria, I call the look very posh. I had fun creating these names, okay? Don't judge me. <laughs> and I'm going to be pairing it with the Iconic Nude Lip Liner. I'm not going to show you how I put on the Iconic Nude Lip Liner because you've seen it four times by now. Okay, lip liner is on and the reason I love this look so much is because I feel like the Very Victoria lipstick from Charlotte is the same exact color as the Iconic Nude lip liner but in a lipstick formula which is a little creamier and so because I love that color, I am obsessed with this look as well. <laughs> Okay, it might be like a hint lighter than Iconic Nude, but very, very similar colors. So this right here is very posh. I feel like, do I even have to explain why I love this look? It's beautiful, it's basic, and it goes with everything. It's a darker kind of nude, but not too dark. I am obsessed with it, and I really hope that you guys love it too. Now that I notice, I think it's also like one of the few matte lipstick combos from this video. And it's not like a crusty matte, it's a very comfortable, very hydrating matte actually. Alright, so we're gonna finish up the video with the very posh lip combo on. Again, everything is going to be linked down below by the order of the looks and also by looks. So everything is going to be nice and organized for you down in the description box of this video. I truly hope that you guys like my favorite nude lipstick combos. 99% of the time I'm wearing a nude lipstick and it's always one of these combos right here. I feel like the darker I do the eye, the lighter I do the lip. But these are usually the products that I am grabbing for. I am absolutely obsessed with the formula, the feel, the hydration, everything about every single product that I mentioned to you today. I love a hundred percent. I'm hoping that this video was helpful and if you've been looking for a perfect nude for light to medium skin tones, I promise you that these will work for you. Now if you have tan, dark or deep skin, I feel like a lot of these lipsticks might still work for you but you have to change the lip liner. So get a lip liner that is a couple of shades darker than the color of your skin and you can fill it in the middle with any of these and it'll probably also look amazing. I hope that you guys liked this video. It was a lot of fun making it. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section down below. Give it a thumbs up before you leave and do not leave without subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I hope to see you back in the next video. Bye!